Welcome to the fall induction of Phi Theta Kappa on this, the 28th day of October 2020. My name is Ethan Hansen, and I am the president of our Cape Cod Community College's chapter, Alpha Upsilon Mu, of Phi Theta Kappa. We'd like to start this virtual induction with a brief video made by my fellow officers and myself. Hi, welcome to PTK. I'm Ethan. I'm the president of PTK here at Cape Cod Community College. Our chapter has been involved in all types of exciting projects. Just last year, PTK was involved in creating the Four Cs app. Just last spring, PTK was responsible for running the Photo Challenge, which was a huge success during the COVID-19 pandemic. And now, we are in the process of planning an orchard here at Cape Cod Community College. With your help, we can make this a success. National and international conferences, college projects, internal events, we have it all. You'll definitely find something interesting for you. If you have any questions, reach out and get answers. If you want to get more involved in PTK, we hold meetings via Zoom every Wednesday at 2 p.m. Can't make it to meetings? That's all right. Reach out to myself or any of our other officers or Professor Griffin and we'll get you more involved. Our meeting space has changed, but not our goal. With another format, we still have the same impact. Become a part of PTK and have an impact on your local community. It's time to recognize your accomplishments. Come to our virtual induction ceremony October 28th at 5 p.m. and join our International Honor Society. Hello everyone, my name is Wilson Nair and I'm the Vice President of Leadership for PTK. I would like to welcome you all and I hope that you look into and take advantage of the many benefits that PTK has to offer. Welcome to PTK. My name is Cassie and in April of 2019, I was inducted into Thai Theta Kappa. Currently I serve as Chapter Officer for PTK as Vice President of Service. Cape Cod Community College and PTK has given me new opportunities in education and service projects. Earning the Phi Theta Kappa distinction provides student opportunities that I have enjoyed, such as the advancement of leadership, service, academic achievement, and fellowship. I hope you can join us. Hi, I'm Derek Montecalvo, and I am the VP of Fellowship for Pi Theta Kappa. I'm really happy that you're interested in joining us and I hope that you continue to see what PTK has to offer. We have a lot of exciting things going on in the near future. For example, we have a capital campaign raising funds for PTK scholarships so that more students like you can come and join PTK. And by the spring, we hope to have a community orchard on the ground at Four Seas. So pretty cool stuff along with workshops and other leadership opportunities where we can improve as better members of PTK and bring what we've learned to the campus to make it a better student community. Thank you and hope to see you at future meetings. We are a diverse, collaborative and motivated group of people. And we do a lot of cool stuff.
currently muted. It is my pleasure to introduce the president of Cape Cod Community College, Dr. John Cox, the vice president of academic and student affairs, Dr. Arlene Rodriguez, and our faculty advisor, Professor Rebecca Griffin. We're also joined by PTK officers, Vice President of Leadership, Wilson Nera, Vice President of Fellowship, Derek Montecalvo, and Vice President of Service, Cassandra Robin. Thank you all for joining us. Our college president, Dr. John Cox, would now like to add a few words of welcome. Thank you, Ethan. And I'm uh, looking forward to the peach cobbler real, real soon. Phi Theta Kappa, good evening. Tonight, we celebrate you. PTK is about your academic achievement and induction into Alpha Epsilon Mu. As wise individuals, we also recognize the education and support that makes this evening possible. As you know, education is not a path of solitude, but one of community. Let's take a moment to look around our virtual room and look around the room that we're in now and recognize our family, our friends, our faculty, and the staff who have helped make your presence here tonight possible. PTK is focused on opportunities for you and your aspirations. You're becoming an honored member in scholarly fellowship with your peers from across this nation. You've proven that with all of life's demands and obstacles, including a pandemic, you decided education is a top priority. Whatever hardship and choices faced you, you persevered, and we are in this room tonight celebrating your academic success. Like the glow cast forward from the PTK torch, tonight is about the clarity to think and see ahead, learning from your past while enabling your future and driving our community and our nation forward. Let's also recognize the power of Alpha Epsilon Mu, a nationally recognized chapter under the leadership of Professor Griffin. Our chapter was ranked among the nation's most distinguished. Clearly, you're joining a best in class chapter. Ladies and gentlemen, let's recognize the effort and the energy that it's taken our students to get here this evening. Congratulations, one and all. Ethan, back to you. Thank you, President Cox. We would also like to welcome Vice President Arlene Rodriguez to say a few words. Thank you, Ethan. To our PTK leadership, Professor Rebecca Griffin, tonight's inductees, our four C's faculty and staff, our family, our friends, I am honored to share this special evening with you. When I look back on the time between the last induction ceremony in March, which by the way, was our very first virtual ceremony at four C's, I reminded, I am reminded how resilient we are, how you can rise above any challenge to create something new, and how you have built upon that new practice to make it great. Last year's ceremony offered us the opportunity to celebrate our achievements in your homes with family close by. We had some long pauses, but we had, much more importantly, we had lots of smiles, cheers, and congratulatory messages in the chat feature. What was an experiment last year has become the model for other ceremonies at Cape Cod Community College and PTK, you led the way. As always, you rose above all the challenges that we faced last spring. I wanna take this time out to thank Professor Kate Martin who for many years led PTK. Kate, what an impact you have had on our PTK students. Through the service work, the conferences, the numerous award, you have made our chapter of PTK nationally known. And I know you've mentored so many of our students 
helping them to keep their eye on the prize when daily demands might have gotten them down. Thank you, Kate, for all of your work. This year, PTK, you have a new faculty coordinator who to me embodies creativity and innovation. Professor Rebecca Griffin, you jumped into a role that emphasizes collaboration and community at a time when we were redefining all those things. You are one of those rare individuals who can create a sense of belonging, a sense of togetherness, no matter the environment. Thank you for your work, Rebecca. PTK members and new inductees, the world needs you now more than ever before. Your commitment to learning, leadership, and service, those four hallmarks of PTK, scholarship, leadership, service, and fellowship, are what will push us through the other side of this pandemic to rebuilding our economy and society and to reconnecting with who we are. Peace and health to all of you. Congratulations and thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Rodriguez. At this time, our faculty advisor, Professor Rebecca Griffin, will lead the officers in the renewal of their pledge of membership. Okay, officers. Before you assume your obligations as officers of this chapter, you shall renew your pledge of membership to Phi Theta Kappa. I'll have you repeat after me. I, and then state your name. I, Cassandra I, Robin. I, Derek Montecalvo. I, Wilson Nero. Do solemnly promise to fulfill. Do solemnly, solemnly promise, promise, to, promise to, fulfill. to fulfill. To the best of my ability. To the, to the best, best of, of my, my ability. ability, my duties as an officer, my duties, my duties as, as an officer, officer of the Alpha Epsilon Mu chapter, of the, of the Alpha, Alpha Epsilon, Epsilon Mu, Mu chapter, of Phi Theta Kappa, of Phi Theta, Phi Theta, Theta, Theta Kappa. You are duly recognized as the executive officers of the Alpha Epsilon Mu chapter of Phi Theta Kappa. We pledge the support of the members of this chapter to you. Thank you, Professor Griffin. Honored guests and fellow Phi Theta Kappa members, I'm pleased to present you with the candidates for membership in our honor society. These students have fulfilled all requirements for membership and have been selected because they have chosen scholarship, leadership, service, and fellowship as their hallmarks. I recommend them for acceptance into our chapter of the Phi Theta Kappa International Honor Society of the two-year college. I would now like to call on Vice President of Leadership, Wilson Nara. Thank you, President Hansen. You're about to be inducted into a scholarly fellowship which embraces two-year colleges, not only here in Massachusetts, but across the nation and across the world. This fellowship is Phi Theta Kappa, and your chapter is Alpha Upsilon Mu. The core values of the organization are leadership, scholarship, fellowship, and service. If after induction, you invest in these values, then the fellowship will provide you meaning and direction. I would like to present Vice President of Fellowship, Derek Montecalvo. Thank you, Vice President Nira. I have in my hand a torch, symbolic of knowledge, which is a servant of wisdom that dwells with prudence and leads in the way of righteousness in the midst of the path of judgment. I would like to call our Vice President of Service, Cassandra Robin, to speak. Thank you, Vice President Monte Cabo. I have the rose typifying purity and beauty of life with its buds signify intellectual associations. This rose is a symbol of our newly formed intellectual friendship. I would like to ask Vice President Monte Cabo to return to speak. Thank you, Vice President Robin. The purpose of Pi Theta Kappa is a, to foster a spirit of devotion to study and to scholarly ideals among its members. Now that the standards and ideals of this organization have been fully revealed to you, you come to complete the pledge which admits you into 
complete fellowship. Inductees, please raise your right hand if you are able and repeat after me. I, state your name. I, Kalima Pombo. I, Ethan Slita Foss. I'm I, Nathan. Alexandria Moran. I, Kamala Tamang. I, JP Britt. I, Natasha Pearson. I, Jovan Young. I, Emma Semensky. Under. I, Alexandria Zine. Do you solemnly promise? Do solemnly promise? Do solemnly promise? Do solemnly promise? Do solemnly promise? On this 28th day of October 2020. On this 28th day, day of October 2020. To uphold the standards of Pi Theta Kappa. We will hold the standards, the standards of Pi Theta, Pi Theta, Theta Kappa. Kappa. And to make this object an aim. To make this object, 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 object an aim. aim. Foremost in my mind. Foremost in my mind. And I do solemnly pledge allegiance. And, and I do, do solemnly bless allegiance to my fellow members, to my, to my fellow members, members, and promise to aid them, and promise, promise, promise to, to aid, aid them, them in all worthy endeavors. In all worthy, endeavors. All worthy endeavors. Please prepare to enter your name into the virtual chapter record book. As a reminder, at the top of your screen, select View Options and Annotate, then select the Text Option and enter your name. Stand by. <laughs> this time the inductees can use the annotation feature and enter their name into the virtual record book. You'll find that at the top of your screen. Perhaps are having some trouble with the annotation. So, Derek, we'll turn it back to you. Ethan? All right. At this time, we would like to introduce the inductees who are able to join us today. All right. Mia Ahmed is a full-time student pursuing her associate's degree in liberal arts. She plans to complete a bachelor's degree in a doctorate of veterinary medicine. Some of her possible career choices include becoming a veterinarian or a veterinary surgeon. Rachel Burr is a full-time student pursuing in her associate's degree in nursing and psychology. She plans to earn her bachelor's degree in both fields. She would like to work as a psychiatric nurse and perhaps earn an APRN. She thanks her, her mother, Martha Burr, for believing in her. She also thanks her sister, Sarah Gilbert, for giving her the push she needs. JP Britt is a full-time student pursuing an associate's degree in English. In the future, 
He plans to either earn his EDD or attend law school. JP would like to like thank his loving daughter, Haley, for whom he is attempting to set a good example. He would also like to thank his English Comp 1 professor, Dr. Burt, for being such an inspiration. Jovan Yonk is a part-time student pursuing his associate's degree in health science. He plans to pursue a degree in radiation technology after he transfers next fall. He decided to go back to college at the age of 32. He says it was slightly scary at first, but now he's so happy he made the choice he did. And he's truly grateful to be a part of Four Cs and now PTK. Claire M. Linder served in the military for 21 years before her recent retirement. She is now beginning a new chapter as a full-time student pursuing an associate degree in nursing. She has a bachelor's in management with a concentration in leadership. She plans to get her bachelor's in nursing upon completion of her nursing associate's degree. She would like to thank her family and friends for supporting her as she begins this new career path. Anthony McCulloch Howard is a full-time student pursuing his associate's degree in health science. He plans to pursue a career in the medical field, possibly as an athletic trainer or a physical therapist. Anthony wants to thank his friends and family and the teachers who helped him get here. Alexandria Morin is a full-time student pursuing her associate's degree in the administrative assistant medical track. She plans to get her bachelor's degree and possibly a master's as well. She was also considering medical school. She wants to pursue a career in the medical field, whether it be administrative or clinical. She would like to thank her friends and family for the support in her academic career. She wants to thank her advisor, Laura Dunn, who has been with her through the ups and downs of school and who has only ever encouraged her to do the best she could. Joanne uh, Gabriella Silva Nunns is a part-time student pursuing an associate's degree in political science. She plans to pursue her bachelor's degree in law. Natasha Zoe Marie Pearson is a part-time student pursuing her associate's degree in nursing. She plans to earn her, earn her ASN through four C's and then earn her BSN at UMass Boston. She wants to thank her husband, David, for being there through all the ups and downs she has had and will continue to have throughout the process. She is also grateful for her mother, Maureen, who has always been encouraging when it comes to Natasha's plan of furthering her education. Kalima uh, Pombo is a full-time student pursuing an associate's degree in communication in media studies. Next fall, she will transfer to the University of Massachusetts Amherst to complete a bachelor's degree in communications and public relations. Kalima would like to thank her family and friends for their support and encouragement. Samantha Reska is a full-time student earning her associate's degree in dental hygiene. She intends to complete a bachelor's degree in dental hygiene while practicing clinically as a registered dental hygienist. Long-term, she would like to earn a master's of education and become a professor of dental hygiene. Samantha wants to thank all the Four C's dental hygiene faculty for all their guidance and encouragement, especially Mrs. Alves and the program director, Mrs. Dreyer. In these uncertain times, their support has been more important than ever. Ethan Saletto Foss is a full-time student pursuing his associate's degree in general studies with an engineering focus. He's looking to further his education by enrolling in the four-year college after four C's in order to obtain his bachelor's degree in electrical engineering. Ethan would like to thank both of his parents who have supported him throughout his journey at Four Cs. He would also like to thank Shannon Boonstra who introduced him to the early college program, or sorry, the early college experience program through the Bourne High School. This program has opened many opportunities for him in his future. Uh, Emma Semensky is a full-time student studying communications. She, try, she plans to earn her bachelor's degree in the communications field. She dreams of becoming a writer and or producer. She wants to thank her parents for challenging her to pursue her dreams and to do her best in school. Christina Silva Simpson is a full-time liberal arts and human services student working on her associate's degree. After four C's, she plans to pursue her bachelor's degree. She would like to show anyone who is struggling with who they are or what they wanna be that they can do anything they put their mind to regardless of their background or circumstances. Her advice is, don't ever give up. 
even if the path you have chosen gets rocky. I like that, Christina. Kamala Tamang is a full-time student pursuing her associates in science and nursing degree at Cape Cod Community College. Melissa Willard is a full-time student pursuing an associate's degree in funeral services. After she completes her funeral services degree, she may study psychology or business to complement her associate's degree. Melissa appreciates the support of her family and friends while she works to and attends school full-time. Kadeja Young is a full-time student pursuing an associate's degree in business administration. She plans to earn her bachelor's in business and is considering a career in operation management. She advises other students that discipline is key. She goes on to say, trust your journey and don't procrastinate. Every day, should be, every day you should break your limits and outgrow yourself. I like that, Kadeja. I like that too. Alexandria Zine is a full-time student pursuing an associate's degree in English. She plans on earning her master's degree and eventually becoming a journalist. She would like to express gratitude towards her English literature professors, as well as to her family. The remnants of their compassion has meant so much to her and will continue to hearten her. I also want to take a time to congratulate the inductees who were not able to be present this evening. We have Craig Bogle, Jeffrey Britt, Lillian Frey, Cameron Gifford, Jackson Goddard, Ethan Hall, Alexandria Joseph, Kathleen Lemieux, Kasha Lighton, Annabelle Long, Christopher Levette, Gabrielle Norm Normantate, Michaela Newbury, Aaron Potter, Howard Reed, Angela Rulke, Maria Rondu, Molly Stevens, and Colleen Wright. I would now like to invite President, uh, Vice President Nira to speak. Thank you, President Hansen. It is my pleasure to welcome you into the Beat Data Kappa Honor Society and the lively fellowship of scholars it affords. I salute you for your accomplishments and charge you to explore always for truth and to dedicate yourselves to the cultivation of the well-reasoned life, which is a prelude to service and honor. Inductees, please give your family, friends, and professors a hand for all their support of your academic success. I would, I would like to congratulate all of you for your accomplishments. I hope that you take the opportunity to get involved. We have a very active chapter and there will be many chances for you to participate. We meet Wednesdays from 2 to 3.15 p.m. over Zoom. Please feel welcome to attend the meetings when you can. Thank you all for attending tonight's induction. Have a terrific evening. Thank <laughs> you.